Hello, hello, and welcome back to Ant's Gaming Suite. This is your host, Anthony, back with another New World video. Hope you guys have been well and fantastic. Do you appreciate all of you guys who have viewed and support this channel? I do appreciate you guys so much. Today's video is all about how do you obtain your legendary 580 weapon, which is pretty much going to be the end game weapon until the legendary 600 gear score is out. There is a whole bunch of things uh, relating to that particular issue just because you can't farm the hand wraps and you know the enchanted wing bows and whatnot. But before we jump straight into the video today, make sure you guys hit that subscribe, hit that like and leave a comment section down below. You know, which weapons did you find the hardest or which weapons are you guys going to be obtaining for me? It's going to be the fire staff, the ice gauntlet and the musketeer. But today's video, if you stay tuned towards the end of it, I will show you a, I guess, the prime result, which is the fire staff 580 weapon. I'll show you its stats and pretty much which perk it has. Okay, so before you jump straight into the legendary weapon, there is four prequest sets that you have to complete, okay? So the first one is called the facets of light and darkness. As you guys are getting to your level 60, and if you guys haven't already finished this quest, then this is probably what you're gonna have to do. But if you're like me, who was already level 60 prior to even commencing any quest in Eden Grove or Great Cleave, then you're gonna have to complete this quest. So the first one is you have to go to the uh, east outpost of Great Cleave, and you'll wanna speak to a guy named Ryan Knatchbull. Uh, he will give you a quest called Facets of Light and Darkness. So that is the first quest that you have to complete. So once you have finished the first quest called Facet and Light, uh, you'll be prompt to give, go to your quest pretty much on the west side in Cleave Point Outpost here. Uh, you will speak to a lady called Mirror Law and she will give you a quest called Rainbow Heart Shadow Intent. That is the second quest that you must complete. So now that you completed the last two mission facets of darkness and light uh, and then you also complete the rainbow heart you will be prompt for the next quest that you need to look out for it is called our worst enemy and madaki stratagem so those two last quests is going to be located with the last npc here so the last npc is called ento and he's pretty much located on the west side of strata uh, shattered mountain this is where you can go and find the last two quests once you've completed our own worst enemy and madaki stratagem you will be prompt in order to pick up a quest uh, located anywhere between Great Cleave, Eden Grove, or Shattered Mountain uh, for your legendary weapon 580 gear score. However, when you do those particular uh, legendary weapon score, you do have to make sure that the other requirement is you have to have a max weapon mastery at level 20, Ice Gauntlet, or Musketeer. For my instance, I've already completed Fire Staff, which I will show you the stats at towards the end the Ice Scotland and the Musketeer, which will be my next two weapon. However, there is a glitch that is going around at, at times. It will give you the quest, even though you haven't already mastered your weapon. Hopefully they can get that sorted out. When you're probably wondering what quest you need to complete uh, so when you pick up your legendary weapon. So example here, I have Azov quest. Uh, I have to go defeat Campion Druids at Nettle Vex. So pretty much, it's a series of eight quests that you have to complete. It will take you to a variety of different elite group across the map. So you might have to find a group that will help you. And usually, uh, as a fire staff, you will have to complete anywhere between 30 to 50 mobs. Plus, you have to either defeat a boss mob to grab a particular drop, or it's a normal mob that pretty much drops a you know a certain weapon or material that you need. And that's pretty much the quest. Uh, I'll quickly show you the fire staff menu right here. So the fire staff that I currently have is called Prime Resolve. This is the 580 weapon. It gives me 872 damage. Uh, that's because it's split between fire damage and arcane damage, uh, and also added to repair it, so it will probably give me a lot more. So let's quickly do this. Um, so it's pretty much giving me a 18 plus damage and corruption uh, accelerate flamethrower. If you're using flamethrower as a fire mage, it's probably the best weapon, but the gem slot is pretty much an empower three. 40% of damage is compared to arcane damage, damage scales off based off, based off intelligence. So this is pretty much the level 60, 580 weapon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you stay tuned for more by hitting the like, hitting the subscribe, and leaving a comment section down below.